Hey there, and thanks for joining me. It's Amy Kunkel, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator and blogger at crazybeautiful.com. I am going to do some fun watercoloring today. I'm going to start with some of my new in colors. This is the Mint Macaron. And just go ahead and get your paint tray, your paint palette set up how you want to use it. And I've kind of been working here, so I've got a mess already started. And I'm just going to set these aside. I have my watercolor paper and I'm going to grab my template that I use for um, doing the bouquet technique. It's really just a piece of clear acetate with holes punched out. So make sure you have a paper towel handy to clean off your brush. And I also have water in the center of my paint palette. I just kind of started with two C shape, um, just kind of freehanding part, partial circles, part of the leaves. And I really don't know the best way to explain this. You're just going to kind of have to watch. I do four different flowers, and this is the first one. It's using the Delightful Dijon, one of the new in colors with Stampin' Up! and um, just clean your brush between each color and carefully remove your clear um, mat there as it you do want to let your flowers dry. Um, I'm going to just switch over to my next color which will be the Watermelon Wonder. It's a really pretty color. I um, When I'm doing the flowers I like to start out with a really fine tip and just kind of gently add my half like partial loops around the center and as you get further out I tend to make longer broader strokes and um, let the tip of the um, let the tip of the paintbrush flatten a little bit more as um, it's going. Now I probably should have moved my paper so you could see, have a better view of this, but I do move my hand occasionally so you can um, see the flower as it's coming together. And um, it is very freehand and flowy and um, I've just played with this for a while until I kind of got a technique down that I liked. and. Um, you can really do this for home decor, you could do it for a wedding, and then just um, print it. There's a lot of, there are a lot of possibilities with the watercolor. Um, especially when it's your own creation, you know, you're not having to pay someone for copywriting or anything. Um, so go ahead and make sure your little mat there is clean. Make sure your little, uh, circle template is clean between each time. I think I got a little bit of ink on it. Um, next and last I'm going to use Blackberry Bliss and it's a very dark um, rich color so you're going to want to make sure to add water to this um, in your paint tray to dilute it a little bit and then again make sure your paintbrush tip is nice and pointed and um, go ahead and just start that flower in the same way. As you go to the outside, you can see that it's getting a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna try to pick up a little bit more paint and bring that dark color back. Um, but it does add a nice variety of color, so um, it's definitely makes it look more realistic. So I'm gonna set these aside and Go ahead and just make some of my leaves. So I ended up just fussy cutting all those flowers and um, add, um, I'm going to add them to my card but I'm just going to show you how I did the leaves. You're going to want um, to start with a little bit of the lighter green. Now this is the new green. This is Cucumber Crush and I don't necessarily want all of it filled in so I'm just going to kind of 
start like that. I'm just going to make a couple of them and come back in with a more potent darker color and add a little bit of a highlight. So I basically am just making them up on this little scrap piece of watercolor paper. I'm going to let these dry and I'll show you my finished card. Okay, so this is what I did with it. You can really do anything with them. Um, very pretty. I didn't use one of them. I might add it to something else. I hope you liked this little hand painted flower tutorial and will join me again uh, over here at my YouTube channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.